You guys all right? Yeah. Good to hear. So, my name is also Adam. Yeah, well, um, yeah it is. Uh, first thing to know about me is that I am broke. <laughs> I have no money. Like, uh, have you ever been broke to the point where for breakfast you have a lion? <laughs> because you don't have to spend money if you're asleep, you know? Yeah, man. I have to travel a lot to do comedy, and uh, normally my travel plans are so broke, uh, they involve not paying for train tickets. <laughs> like, look at me, I don't run. <laughs> but as soon as I see the expected to get on that carriage, I'm doing park over those seats. <laughs> catch me if you can, motherfuckers! <laughs> and they always catch me because I can't run. <laughs> hey, man. But they caught me, they caught me. Oh, you all right? Yeah. Oh. Good luck. Um, <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So they caught me and they sent me to court for not paying for my trade tickets. Yeah, they sent me to court. And at court, I tried to use the race card. <laughs> because at this point, it's the only card I have that doesn't get declined. <laughs> like, well, there's no oppression left on this. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but they fined me. They fined me £195 for not paying for my train tickets. Can you believe that? Steep, innit? But still cheaper than buying a £350 year pass. So who's really winning? <laughs> This guy right here. This guy right here, I'm the winner of the situation. Uh, what else can I tell you about myself? Uh, I recently graduated from university. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, thank you, but no. Uh, because I hated my degree. Uh, because I studied engineering at uni. And I think the main reason I hated it is because I was only 18 years old when I chose to study that degree. And I don't think that you should be making that decision at that age. Like basically, if you spend every day trying to convince your parents you're not masturbating, <laughs> you shouldn't be making such a poor career decisions. Do you know what I mean? And also, when I was younger, they tried to make science look cool. For example, do you guys remember the TV show Brainiacs? Yeah. Remember the show? Like, I loved that show as a kid. Richard Hammond used to take those metals, drop them into water, and they would explode. And I was like, oh, explosions, how exciting. <laughs> and in biology class, we used to cut up frogs that look at me, I'm black. I love stabbing things. <laughs> so I'm like, stabbings and explosions, sign me up, motherfuckers. <laughs> I get to uni, and they're like, hey, mate, I hope you like spreadsheets. <laughs> because that's all you'll be doing for the rest of your fucking life. Like, I've become so good with spreadsheets, I've learned how to watch porn on Excel, okay? <laughs> that's who I've become today. Imagine me wanking to myself C-3PO like I'm watching the porn parody of Star Wars. I <laughs> know, oh, man. Uh, but no, I should have known that I wasn't suited to this degree. Like, I told you this story once. Uh, my lecturer was giving me feedback on a report I had submitted. And at one point, my lecturer turns to me and says, Adam, the fact that you're in the final year of this degree tells me that you should have the knowledge required to write this report accurately. But this feels like it was written by someone who doesn't even have the most basic understanding of engineering fundamentals. <sighs> <laughs> who knew they could be so fucking sassy, first of all? <laughs> and at the time, I was like, shit, I have fucked this degree up. What am I going to do with my life? But actually, in hindsight, it's actually the biggest compliment he could have given me because even though my degree certificate says I have a master's degree in chemical engineering, the only thing I've mastered in the five years that I was at university was the art of chatting absolute bollocks, which is why I'm still before you here today. So I am proud of my tutu, thank you very much. Because it's still better than an English degree, am I right? <laughs> Tell you about myself. Uh, I grew up religious. I grew up religious, but um, like the main reason I still believe in God is because I'm from Birmingham, but I don't have the accent. <laughs> because that's a miracle. <laughs> that tells me there's a God out there and He's taking care of me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that's all that. That's all that tells me. Yeah. What I was gonna say. Um, I don't like being a black guy. Anybody want to swap? <laughs> <laughs> because people think I give a shit about racism, uh, but I don't. For example, one of my favorite games to play at uni was to get my white friends comfortable with saying the N-word. <laughs> because I want them to be comfortable saying it around me, then they meet another black person, call them a nigga, get punched in the face. <laughs> because that's the kind of practical jokes I like to play on my friends. <laughs> I'll tell you this uh, true story once that happened to me. Uh, I was here doing a gig, yeah? And while I'm doing the gig, some guy's being kicked out for being too drunk because it's Liverpool and that's what you guys seem to do. <laughs> it's kind of like a father-son bonding activity, isn't it? Like, come on, son, let's go to Weatherspoons and get kicked out. You know, that's what, 
I saw you guys do. That's a good Sunday day, isn't it, for you guys? Um, and then while he's being kicked out, he just turns around to me and says, Shut the fuck up, you black cunt! <laughs> and I don't like being called black. <laughs> so, so he gets kicked out, but the good people here were like, No, we're not going to stand for this. So we go out to fight him. A full fight is breaking out in the bar area, but I'm still on stage doing my jokes because I'm a goddamn professional. So I finish my set and I, get, and I get off stage and the police are there. The police come up to me and say, Adam, we want to make sure that you get home safe. So how are you getting home tonight? I so I was going to walk back to the train station and catch a train back to Birmingham. A train I didn't pay for, but they don't need to know that, do they? <laughs> so they said, we'll drive you. So they drove me, a black man, in the back of a police van for the first time in my life. And I'm not being arrested. How amazing is that, right? People who like, see me get driven past are like, why is that guy so happy to be in the back of a police van? <laughs> And I'm, and I'm just there waving to them like I'm fucking queen. Like, hey, 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 you guys all right? You guys all right? Anyway. Uh, you want to hear the best part about this? Yeah, do you guys want to hear the best part about this? I had a joint in my pocket the whole time. Anyway, I've been Adam Elmer. You guys have been amazing. Thank you and have a wonderful life. <laughs>